Okay guys, welcome to today's video where we're going to talk about showing a multimeter on screen on OBS. And I'm not talking about just putting a camera on it and showing another camera view of it, but actually showing it in software on there. Now, for those of you who don't know, OBS or Open Broadcaster is an open source project where you can do live streaming and recording a video. And that's actually how I do all my recording for the YouTube channel. I don't record it with the camera. I do an HDMI out from the camera and put it into OBS and do all my recording that way. It's just easier to me to do it like that. So that way I don't have to do one thing for live streams and a different thing for um, uh, recorded videos. Now, it's been a while since I've done a live stream. I've just been way too busy. But yeah, this is a requested video. Uh, when I did my Fluke 45 video, somebody asked if I could show how to set this up on OBS. So I'm going to actually do it. So it's a little bit of a tutorial here. Uh, but we'll talk about it in a more broad sense than just on doing just the Fluke 45 on it. We'll talk in general how, how you can go about doing this. So uh, let's actually just get right into it. Okay, so before we really get into the how-to, let's talk about the what. Like, what multimeters will work with it. Because you could go out and buy an expensive uh, multimeter to do this. With it. Like, you could absolutely buy a $400 bench meter to be able to plug into the computer. But... You know, you can get away with something as cheap as this. Uh, there are guides specifically on this tech power on YouTube already made, so uh, you could check those out if you want a specific tutorial on how to make one multimeter work with OBS. Um, so yeah, there's a tutorial on this one out there, and it's a $44 multimeter. So there's no excuse on like, oh, well, uh, I can't afford a, a, a multimeter that I can plug in the computer if this is something you want to do with your channel. Uh, I'm not saying it's necessary either. You can absolutely just put a webcam on the on the uh, multimeter and just show it that way. But yeah, there's options out there. Now, one thing to consider though is with a cheaper multimeter like this, you might want to consider putting a USB isolation on your computer because you don't know how well it is isolated inside their product. Um, it's just something I... I wouldn't trust a cheaper product with the safety of my expensive computer that I'm doing my recording on. Uh, so it's something to consider there is if you're using one of these cheaper multimeters, you might want to consider using a, a USB isolator on, on the connection. Uh, just to make sure that you are actually isolated from it uh, and you don't have some ground loop, especially if you're working on something AC, you don't want to have a ground loop that feeds back into your computer and you damage stuff. Uh, same with high voltage. Uh, and a brand I trust a little bit more is this uh, BK Precision. It also has a USB out and uh, you can get that hooked onto your computer. And then, uh, of course, you can get into your Siglents or your Oans or your Hantex. They're a little bit cheaper than, say, like a Keysight or a Keithley uh, multimeter. So definitely some, some cheaper options out there to consider. And you can always go to the used market like I did um, and just keep an eye on Facebook. If any, anything that has like an RS-232 out or a USB out, you'll be able to get on screen somehow. Uh, you may not have a nice, pretty display, uh, but you'll, you'll find something. For example, I went with the Fluke 45, which is a 30-year-old multimeter that nobody would have even imagined what OBS was back when they made it. However, people have made software that will work with that RS-232 output of it to make something that I can display on screen and then I can capture with OBS. So now let's actually take a look at OBS and how we're going to start doing a capture in there. Okay, so now we're in OBS to set this up. Now before you actually open OBS, you want to open your program that you're using. So I'm using MD Fluke to capture the output of my uh, multimeter. Let me go ahead and turn on a voltage source for it so that way you see something. There we go. Now we have something on on there. Um, but the, the whole point of this is to capture this screen on here. So this is a lot easier than you think it's going to be. There's no special plug-in or anything required. All that you're going to do is go in here and add a window. So we're going to do a window capture and we'll just make this a new one and we'll call it capture two. And now I have my fluke multimeter showing up on screen. Uh, go ahead and scale it down to however much we want. And we can go, hey, we got all this extra space up here, which is actually used in MD fluke. It, it'll show different things up here when it's doing different things. But uh, let's say we only want it to show that little bit of it. Um, we can right click and um, transform and just edit transform on there and we can crop the top of it so yeah. 150 there we go now it it looks 
better. Let's, uh, cr we could crop a little bit off of that side of it too there, but I mean, that's, that's really all we have to do, uh, for this one. Now, other software, like say when you use easy DMM, which is the software for the Siglent stuff, you have a lot of stuff in that window. You'll have like, you'll have like a side over here. That's all the controls for it. And then you'll have another side over there. They're like all the different multimeters you might have hooked up and stuff and then in the middle of the screen then you have it so you'd also use this crop right here to just crop out all those sections of the screen and get it to just that small section that you need and you just have this window running in the background so that is just this window right here that we're capturing so we we don't actually have to have any sort of special plug-in to make it work it just captures what the window has in it uh, which makes it really easy to do uh, and, and I, I find it very intuitive uh, versus some of the plugins because there are custom made plugins for OBS for some multimeters. Uh, people have written some plugins for, for their particular multimeters they have. And uh, I, I honestly just rather do it like this where I'm doing a window capture of it. Um, and this is also useful if you're trying to do like an oscilloscope, if you have like a Sigla X oscilloscope and you're using their easy, uh, easy scope is the software name. If you're using easy scope, then you can, uh, you know, capture just that portion of the window of it. Um, so, I mean, that's really all there is to setting it up with OBS. It's, it's really easy. It's you open whatever software came with your multimeter. Like if you bought one of those ones off of Amazon, they have software on a disc and you open it up and then it's just like, okay, now I can do this. And then you can just crop out whatever you don't want to show up in the window. Uh, and you just have just that reading. Uh, and so it's, you'll also, You'll also find that a lot of the, um, you know, the HP and the, the older, you know, 10, 15 year old um, uh, multimeters that have just a serial output um, also have custom made software like this, where you'll be able to, to get a screen. You know, you just need to get that window. All what you need to do is be able to get a window going of it, and then you're able to pipe it into OBS. So it's it's pretty simple. All right, well, that's really it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions or concerns about how to do it, just comment down below. And uh, if I see it, I'll try to respond. Uh, and if you have any other questions about OBS, let me know. I could do some videos on it. However, I'm not an expert on video recording, videography, or editing. So uh, it'd be kind Kind of a layman's thing but i do like to see other electronics channels out there and if i can help in any way i'm happy to help so uh, if you haven't subscribed yet consider subscribing and i'll uh, see you guys in the next one